Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a review on these La Fontana Vintage Handmade Honduras Pure Tobacco Cigars. There's 20 of them in here. Now actually, this is just a cigar box that I modified to fit the contents, which I will be showing you in a moment. What we have here is a fire piston kit. If you've never heard of a fire piston, basically what it uses is a piston in a cylinder that um, compresses air at such a high rate and high velocity that it causes combustion. So I didn't film myself making this because I'll be honest with you, I made, I don't know, three, four, five of them before I actually got it to work correctly. Um, I used all kinds of stuff to do it. This is a, a solder sucker, if you know about solder sucker. Um, I use copper pipe. Um, I use wood handles, and none of those things worked. So I ended up using half inch aluminum rod. Okay, I created this cylinder by putting this in the drill press and drilling down. Um, that was pretty tough to get that whole center. It's not exactly centered, uh, but it's pretty dang close. These are just designs I used. Um, I just put uh, a hacksaw blade against this while this was spinning in a drill press. The piston is made of quarter inch aluminum rod and then a half inch rod at the end that I just um, JB welded in. There's a small flat rubber washer on the end um, because what you're going to do is you're going to slam this closed and the compression and this, the velocity will cause the combustion. combustion. So now on the end here, I have a little O-ring, okay? I also have spare O-rings inside here, plus the char material. If you don't know how to make char material, you can go back into my uh, previous videos. If you can see down in there, I have extra O-rings. Here's a piece of the char we're going to be using. This is actually charred cotton rope. You have to use 100% cotton. Don't use anything else. It won't work. All right. So basically, um, this O-ring was, like I said, was made with a hacksaw blade, the same way I made these designs. And you have to trial and error to get it to the right depth. Okay, you're going to place a little piece of that char cloth right into that hole. You're gonna, this is another little tool I just made out of that quarter inch rod. Um, you don't have to have this, any type of little screwdriver, or even a toothpick would work. Um, and then in here, I have some Vaseline. And you can use chapstick, you can use saliva, you can use whatever you happen to have. But for this, we're gonna use some Vaseline. And basically, you wanna get a little bit onto that O-ring. It does a few things. It helps it slide in better, and it creates a better seal, and it saves the O-ring. So again, the idea is you're going to put this in here, right? And I've seen guys where they take it and they smash it down like this. Um, but if it's well made, and I've seen these things go for 80, 90 bucks on the internet. I've seen them made out of wood. You know, they're much cheaper, maybe 20 bucks. But if they're well made and you get lucky, you should be able to do this right in your hand. Now, hopefully with my um, hands wrapped around this camera, I can get it. So it doesn't light every time. There's a technique to it. But when you practice, you should be able to get it to go. So here we go. Look at that. I'm going to put it out by just putting it in there and starving the oxygen. So, as you can see, you don't have to smash it down. Um, you, you have to just, if you get that speed and that force, and this is made exactly right, you'll get that ember. So here's a few other little tips when you're making it, okay? You want the bottom of this right here, this end, not to hit the bottom of wherever your hole is in here. So I basically just used a, um, a stick, I'll use this as a demonstration, and measured down, 
and then when I made this I made sure that I had about an eighth of an inch from the bottom because you want the, the fire the flames to be able to go over the end and touch that if this bottomed out if this hit the bottom like this there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to burn that in there okay so hopefully I explained everything the best I could um, if you, you know, have any questions on it, you could uh, leave me a comment or uh, send me a message and I'll do my best to, to answer it. And we're going to go set up a tinder bundle and uh, I'll show you how you can actually get some fire out of this. Alright. So the key to getting a good fire is to make sure you do all your prep work. Okay. You're going to want to make um, a bird's nest. So basically what I have here is some dried grasses. I happen to have uh, some coconut husk. I know that's not something you would find in the woods, but the dried grasses you would. Um, you want some kindling. And to ensure that we're gonna get this off, we're gonna use another piece of char cloth. And we're gonna get that ember from the fire piston to light this, okay? This is just some jute twine, so you want to process all your material. It's a little breezy out here, hopefully this doesn't all blow away. Because the finer the fibers, the better chance you have of getting it to light up. You want to create what they call a bird's nest. Just keep processing it around. As you can see, I'm kind of just getting it around and around. Get some of this finest stuff in the middle. That is wind is wreaking havoc. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Now I'm just making a small one so I can show you. Okay, we have our piston, we have our extra char cloth, and let's give it a go. Score. Okay, so we have that extra piece of char cloth now lit. There you go. And that's how you do it. Well, there you go. That's how I do stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone.